Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Man City Unplugged, your very own Man City fan channel. How are you guys feeling ahead of this big day, which is tomorrow? You know, this week, the days have the days have gone by slowly, actually, this week. In a way, I was just thinking about thinking about this each day, you know, as each day was passing, you were thinking about the Champions League final more and more. In this kind of situation, you want the day to arrive as soon as possible, but it doesn't doesn't well that is the nature of football that is the nature of life but again you'd be a little confused that where is the champions league uh, uh trophy or istanbul and this and that uh, the graphic on the screen but no guys i'm not gonna sit here and tell you about the tactics like a lot of uh, people on social media have done you know this is how inter are gonna play this is how city are gonna play this is whom we have to pick will it be ak will it be akanji there are, there are quite a few things to talk about. Will Pep overthink? What will Pep do? Will John Stones come into the midfield or will he sit back? And is City going to play on the counter with Haring? No, I'm, I'm not going to talk about any of those things, guys, today. Because none of those things are going to matter. For, for the majority of this final, none of those things are going to matter. Yes, tactics are important. Yes, the personal each of this are important. But... Whatever be the result, none of those things are going to have a huge impact on the result. Because here the battle is not with Inter. Here the battle is not with, you know, uh, the tactical approach of Simeone, Inzaghi and all. The battle is with ourselves. The battle is with this, guys. The battle is with this. The battle is with what happened 2019, that season when we were, when we were knocked out against Spurs last minute. The battle after conceding six goals, the battle is with this. The battle is with this, what Pep felt and what our players felt, what we as fans felt. I still remember, I, have, I, th I think all of you guys remember as well, that horrific day, that uh, final which we lost to Chelsea, that 2020, that season, the COVID hit season. All of us remember this. this these are the things we are going to play against. Uh, we are going to be playing against the disappointments of the past. The, the tears of the past, the way all of our miseries of the past, all of our devils of the past, we are going to fight against that. So more than the battle against Inter, the battle will be against ourselves, the inner demons. The battle will be against the pressure. The battle will be against the pressure of people telling if City don't win this match, they'll, they, it's almost like City have bottled the treble, this and that. The battle will be against all of the noise around us. The battle will be against all of those rival football fans, the entire footballing fraternity that wants us to fail, that wants Pep to fail, that wants this incredible city system, incredible city football empire that we have created. The, the battle will be against all of those that want all of these things to fail. So that is what the battle is going to be about tomorrow. So it depends on how we handle the pressure, how we, how we you know, how, how we cope with it. That is what tomorrow's match is going to be. Like all Champions League finals that have been in the past, I will not say we are the favourites or they are the favourites or whatever is the favourites. That is wrong. That is wrong. The, the reason they are here is because whatever might be the draw, they have deserved to be, they, they have deserved to be here. So instead of focusing on the result for me, I'll, 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 I'll just be, not, not just the players, I'll be telling all of the fans, everyone, Everyone, that it's 90 minutes, guys. It's 90 minutes away from immortality. It's 90 minutes where we face off against destiny. It's 90 minutes where we have the chance to put a huge step forward in terms of, you know, roaring, uh, roaring and announcing that we have finally arrived on the European stage. So it's 90 minutes. It's, the, it's, it's these 90 minutes that whatever might happen, irrespective of the result, whatever might happen, it's these 90 minutes that as fans, as players, these will not come back. Whatever might be the result at the end, whatever might be the feelings, these 90 minutes will be the most memorable. These 90 minutes will, I mean, memorable might be in a good way, might be in a bad way, but they will be memorable. They will be intense. So, so what, whatever happens, let us just enjoy these 90 minutes 
like just like we have enjoyed each of those 180 minutes against Bayern Munich. I remember how, how we were standing up for each other. Bayern Munich, Real Madrid. I remember how we were strong even though we went 1-0 down against a Real Madrid team that was known for counter-attacking fairness. We, 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 we were strong. We stood for each other as fans, as players. It's the same attitude we have to carry out into this final. 90 minutes, 90 minutes, guys. I would not say the most important 90 minutes of your life. No, that I, I, I will not say that. But what I would say is the 90 minutes that, that, that the 90 minutes where you, where you have to give everything. That's what I would say to the players. The 90 minutes just give everything in these 90 minutes. Just give everything in these 90 minutes to conquer immortality, to conquer destiny, to conquer each and everything. That is in front of you. That is, the, that, that is the message I think. Not the result guys. Not the result. In this sort of scenarios. More than the result. What matters is. How much. The players are giving. How much the fans are giving. The attitude. The attitude counts so far 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 more than the result. Because at the end of the day. It's a football match. 90 minutes. Anything can happen. But our attitude is. We don't care about the result. What we, I mean, of course we care, but more than the, when I say that, I say more than the result, we care about the processes that go into it, more than the result, we care about playing for each other, more than the result, we care about the camaraderie, the friendship, being, the, being there for each other, each other, the way each of the players played for each other, the way Jack Grealish was tracking back against Bayern Munich and, and, uh, help, helping out the fullback on that side, the way Bernardo Silva was tracking back when, uh, Kyle, Walk Kyle Walker was in trouble. So it is all of these qualities, guys. It is almost a culmination of all of these qualities tomorrow. Whatever might happen, CTID for us will 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 will, will just support this team through the thick and thin. Whatever might happen, and I'm I'm and and I'm and I, I think we can we can be fairly confident the players will not leave anything. They will throw everything out there. They throw the last. La last drop of sweat they'll they'll not give an inch tomorrow and they'll until the un, until the last drop of blood bleeds that the players will not give in and that is what i appreciate about about this team that that is what makes this team special in the in the hearts of so many fans i know i've spoken everything about however about tomorrow except the match in itself because in this occasion, except the match in itself, it is all of these. Again, I'm, I'm showing you the pictures. All of these. This. This is the most important. These. All of these are, are important. The moments of the past. Moments of the past. Let that drive you. That's what Pep Guardiola said after, after that Chelsea loss. Let all of those moments drive you, guys. Let all of those bloody moments drive you. And I, I, th I think a bit of an electricity is also gone. But I'm, I'm not going to cut out this video or something because... I, I, I just want, want wanted to put it out like this in, in real time. So it's just the, the occasion, you know, the occasion might be big. The occasion might be damn big, but 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 for me, it's, it's all about the attitude we show tomorrow. It's all about the bloody attitude we show tomorrow. Attitude of do not give in guys and CTID and let, and let, us, all, let us all meet in the stream tomorrow. Very excited for it. Very excited. Do not be tense, guys. Again, I know there's a bit of tension in me as well. But do not be tense. Be excited. Each of these, it's, it's just a memorable moment. Be excited. Be excited for it. Be excited for it. Because fairly confident that, more than fairly confident actually, that the players will throw everything. The players will throw everything that they have tomorrow. Pep will throw the last morsel of energy. We will fight till the end. Fight till the end has been the motto of this club. 2011-12 finale, fight till the end. Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, all of these against Liverpool. Title race, 18-19, this season title race. Fight till the end has always been the motto of this club. So, so we'll fight till, so we'll fight till the end and we'll give every inch tomorrow, whatever might be the result. Just enjoy the build-up, guys. Enjoy the build-up to this. Don't focus too much on what will be the tactics, what will be this, what will be that. So enjoy the moment because in these type of games, I know I repeated myself, but I want to repeat.
match that again and again in these type of games there are far far more important things than the tactics the personality the pressure the ability to handle the pressure the ability to enjoy every moment the ability to enjoy every minute on a pitch that is filled with needles of pressure that is what differentiates a champion team from 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 all of the others we are a champion team whatever might happen tomorrow whatever might be the result we are already a champion team that we have come this far we have won already won two trophies irrespective of the result tomorrow we are a champion team already just purely based on the personality and the characteristics and the character these people have shown in this season down in the dumps january against the arsenal title race down in the dumps january down in the dumps cancello episode transfer cha i mean ffp charges real madrid bayern munich these guys have already shown immense character and for me whatever might happen tomorrow we are already we are already champions in my heart so see you all guys and take care